work with it okay so here comes <coughs> the beginning of the structure of mycobacterium tuberculosis i must tell you the cell wall structure of mycobacterium tuberculosis is unique among the prokaryotes you never find this structure in any other prokaryote cell because in most of the prokaryotic cells you are going to find in the cell wall it is mostly made up with peptidoglycan but in case of uh, this uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis you will find that most of uh, the structure or most of the component part of the cell wall is made up with lipids uh, and very few part is made up with peptidoglycan so almost 60% is made up with lipids so that is telling us that it is made up with lipids it's, it's why why lipids right so definitely presence of lipid is having very important significance in spreading the infection by mycobacterium tuberculosis right so let's talk about in detail about the lipid structure now the cell wall structure of mycobacterium as I have told over 60% of this cell wall is lipid made and among the lipid structure they are having three important components one is mycolic acid second thing is cord factor and third thing is wax D all of three are among lipids now <coughs> first is mycolic acid they are unique alpha branched lipids uh, as you know what are alpha branched and beta branched lipids you must go on to my youtube channel you can find videos on that so these mycolic acids are alpha branched lipids found on the surface of cell wall of mycobacterium as well as coordinate bacterium which is another type of uh, bacteria now uh, they are kind of strong hydrophobic molecules in nature right and they form kind of lipid shell around the organisms and what are the functions of having this mycolic acids or alpha branch lipids uh, this 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 lipid shell kind of prevent the attack of mycobacteria by different cationic proteins or different enzymes like lysozyme and oxygen radicals right so they, this this shell is helping them to prevent any kind of interaction or affection by proteins lysozymes or oxygen free radicals and also uh, it usually protect the extracellular mycobacteria from complement uh, disposition in the serum it also help uh, to block the opsonization process right so these are the functionality that bacteria gains due to having this mycolic acid layer now the second important thing is a cord factor this is responsible for separating uh, the, normally the serpentine cording on plates that means the cord factor is toxic to mammalian cells and it is also an inhibitor of polymorphonuclear neutrophil so what we knew, mean by that neutrophil we know neutrophil is again a part of immune system which eventually recognizes the bacteria uh, uptake the bacteria degrade the bacteria and they can do all these things now this polymorphonuclear neutrophil means uh, they are having different morphology in their nucleus many different uh, nucleus in, or, or many different lobe containing nucleus so this polymorphonuclear uh, neutrophil or PMN, uh, PMNs are there and this toxic mammalian cells <coughs> this this cord factor actually uh, prevents those polymorphonuclear neutrophil migration inside our body and as preventing the migration it helps to uh, prevent uh, the uptake of this bacterial cells by those neutrophils okay the third important factor is wax D in the cell envelope we can find this wax D it's a component of Freud's comp complete adjuvant system and this wax is also lipid and it helps to uh, this bacteria to escape from again the phagocytic cells now let's talk about the advantages of having the high concentration of lipid in the cell wall what are the advantages I must tell you uh, having cord factor having mycolic acid in most of the cases are helping the bacteria mycobacterium tuberculosis to escape most of the host defense machineries that's a very important advantage as well as what are the other advantages one is that having all those mycolic acid layer and other things help this bacteria to not to be stained by any dyes that's one of their advantages they are impermeable to different stains and dyes that we usually uh, take to stain other bacteria now the second thing is a resistance it helps in the resistance against many antibiotics because similar way uh, the antibiotics cannot take entry through this uh, hard lipid layer or kind of hydrophobic lipid layer again the resistance to kill uh, by any acidic or alkaline compound similar uh, aspects that alkaline or acidic compounds may not enter through this uh, lipid layer resistance to osmotic lysis via complement deposition we have already talked about the presence of cord factor the presence of wax D helps them uh, to uh, 
the block the attachment of different complement parts like C3A or C5A to be at a C sorry C3B or C5B or C2B to be attached to the surface of the uh, bacterial cell. A and finally, the resistance against the different lethal uh, oxidants like uh, oxidative damages, right? And also survival inside the macrophage as they are having everything inside it. So having a lipid is definitely giving them the advantage uh, to survive more than any other bacteria.